Hey guys, looks like it's time for a beer. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. Thought everybody needed a little bit of beach scene going on today, so we picked this up for you to look at. Everybody's longing for warmer weather. Getting thirsty though. Let's go see what's in the fridge, guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today's beer is Heavy Seas Mutiny Fleet. This is their 2012 edition of the Below Decks, which is a barley wine style ale. <clears throat> it says right here on the side, the Mutiny Fleet was birthed by Heavy Seas Brewers who were discovered secretly brewing small batches of the big beers to amuse the palace of their fellow crews. Since most secrets are best kept bottled up, we're bringing you this big flavor Extraordinary brews and 22 ounce bombers, and, and like I said, uh, a lot of times I'm not a big fan of the big bombers. I, I just say when I'm doing, uh, if it's a great beer and and you're buying it and then you're drinking it and sharing it, yeah. But if it's a nasty beer and you got to buy 22 ounces of it to start with, it's not a good thing. So a lot of times that influences my decision. So good thing it's heavy seas and I know they do good stuff. So a lot of there's some plain old Jane bombers I ain't heard of. Especially if I get a chance to pop over to Rake Beer or Beer Advocate and take a look at what's going on there. If they don't have good stuff, a lot of times I don't buy it. So. The, uh, the other it says, Embrace your inner pirate and join the mutiny. An English ale style barley wine that can be enjoyed now or kept below deck so it becomes more complex with age. Um, this is a 10% beer and this, like I said, is a 2012 edition. So... Uh, I would probably best to, to keep this uh, bottled up and just leave it in there and sell it back for probably five years and see what's happening there, but not going to happen. So, guys, uh, we're going to pop the top on this one and see what this one's about. Uh, they're, they're out of, uh, what did I tell you? It was uh, Baltimore, Maryland is where they're out of. This is a English barley wine. I've got 10% here on this one, and that's what it's got on the label, so we're in agreement. The uh, availability says winter, so uh, once it comes out, being that big of a beer, a lot of times it gets better with age. I mean, sometimes it's kind of hot at uh, 10%, and you try to drink it pretty quick thereafter. So like I said, this I think I've had this one for a while. I don't know exactly when this one came out, but I've, I'm pretty sure I've had this one six, eight months or so, so this may have come out. At the, at the beginning of 2012, so I don't know exactly when it was put in the bottle. I don't think it has a date on it. We will investigate that further. I don't think it has anything on the label here where it was put in the bottle at a specific time. We're going to keep harping on them and keep busting about them, and more and more of them are getting on that bandwagon and putting the dates on there, so we got to keep at them, guys. we got to keep harping at them. And the beer is not going to go bad, so they're not worried about that, but we kind of want to put, you know, it, if it's a, this style of beer, not hoppy beer, put the year on it anyway, so we'll know when you put it in the bottle. So, you know, if we know how long to sell it, or how long, how old it is when we do sell it. So, uh, we don't want to come to putting tape on the, on the label or writing something on there. That's your job. That's your job to put that on there. And I've done it before. I put tape on there and write on it. You see, or on the label, the dogfish head beers have got dates written on them. And, and so now they've, they're dating them now, but they didn't used to. So I just write the date on the label, or at least the year when I bought them. That's what the dogfish is. I don't really know what year. I don't care what, I mean, uh, what month, what, what month is put in there. As long as I know what year it is on those big barley wines and stouts and and now even porter some of the porters are getting up at eight nine ten percent so uh, we just gotta have the dates gotta harp on the dates guys the food pairings for this the cheeses the sharp blue the uh, cheddar pungent gorgonzola and limburger 
and the glass wire is pint becker stein the stepped an oversized wine glass and of course at 10 percent this thing will sell up forever never never i mean 20 years or more i ain't lying <laughs> all right guys let's, let's get this thing in the glass i think we'll get ahead let's go down the center 10 percent look at that we're gonna get at least two fingers on a 10 percent beer does it look 10 percent to you don't to me. Two fingers ahead there, guys. All right, over. I mean, it is so deep red. It is a concentrated red, too. I can see the bulb through there, but I don't see anything other than the bulb. I don't see, I don't see the lamp or the wallpaper behind it. I mean, I'm just seeing the, the bulb. Rich red ruby color almost if it went for the head it almost looks like a, a, a brandy or something in there it's got that 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 orangey red hue into the light wow you very unique color don't think I've ever seen that color that particular color in any other beer ever 900 and some beers I don't think I've actually seen this color very unique I can even, when I'm looking at the bulb, I can see the, the bubbles streaming up, reinforcing the, the head there. Very carbonated for a 10% beer. Let's get a nose on it. Very sweet. Caramel. Toffee. Figs. Dates. Raisins. Caramel. Mmm. Smells very sweet. I'm not getting the alcohol at all on the nose right now. It's cold right out of the fridge. Mm. Smells delicious. Cheers, everybody. Very nice. Very big, but not burning. The alcohol is very well made beer. This would be a prime candidate to sell her. I, I would love to have bought two of these and put one away for at least five years and see what that tastes like then. Wow. It's almost, it's got a cotton candy esque sweetness to it. Very sweet. I bet you IBUs are down in the 20s on this beer. Very pleasant. Dates, figs, raisins, caramel, toffee, brown sugar. Very nice. Awesome. Wow. I'm impressed with this. Uh, from what I've read and in, in the reviews I've read so far, I, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, even though they're... They do some good stuff. I like a lot of their beers, probably nine out of ten of them. And this is uh, this is pleasant. Very nice. Well, it's 40 degrees. You know what the deal is. I'm going to let the other half taste the other half of this and see if she agrees with me. We'll come back and do the final chug on this one. Right now, I like it. Stick around. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left. I've been sipping on this spot about 30 minutes now. It's pretty tasty, man. You got the, you got the dark fruits, the... The brown sugar, the caramel, the toffee, the raisins. It's a bit bready, just like the Doppelbox are, but very nice, very pleasant. I, I enjoyed this. I mean, it's not something I would drink every day, but right tasty. Probably would be a great candidate to put in the fridge and just let it sit there for three to five years. Then give it a taste. See what you think of it. How about you? Now that it's warmed up, the alcohol is a little more there. And like I said, that will probably mellow over time. Like I said, this is a 2012 edition. Probably kind of pretty fresh or pretty hot to be uh, reviewing right now. This will be, like I said, a great candidate from three to five years from now. Give it a taste. Most barley wines are that way. Very few of them that I like 
fresh. I mean, they, they need to mellow out. I, I did a barley wine about four years ago, and this is now tasting like something. So, uh, I enjoyed it, but like I said, I think it was a little premature doing this, but uh, that's, what, that's what the deal is. If you've had this beer, give me some comments back on this one. Uh, I think it should be settled just a little while longer. There's no date on the bottle other than the 2012. That's all you're going to get. So, with that being said, guys, I'm going to give it a 7, which is a B plus. I think in about five five years from now, this file will be a nine or a ten even. So uh, that being said, give me some comments back on this if you've had this one. If you like it, you like it, and let's look in the fridge tomorrow and see what's in there tomorrow. It might even have a date on it, other than a year. See you then.